and welcome back to the channel guys gvids here if you guys are new around here make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any future content but today we have an interesting one we're gonna go investigate a secret town um, now this could be a possible DLC expansion or add-on uh, later on or it was even possible uh, where we first started but you're gonna want to come to this location right here and we're going to be just following the, along the wall. Now when you're coming up there will be a big red sign saying stay back. Um, just ignore that, go on through it and uh, you'll make it to the wall there. And we're just going to follow along. We're looking for cracks in the wall. That could be one there but it's not the one I want to try. I have fell off a few times uh, when I was coming around here earlier. Um, this is my probably second or third go through here. Um, so just be careful, take your time, because if you do fall, you most likely will die, um, depending on where you fall, of course. But when you get to this point here, you're just going to slip between the rocks, and you might fall there, but we're not dead, so that's a good thing. And we're just going to turn around and go underneath of the wall, and then pop back up right here. And then we're on the other side of the wall, and we are free roam to do whatever we want outside of the map. Now, of course, it is pretty much dead zone out here. Um, but we can call our vehicle and we actually can make it to a secret town if we uh, continue our way through. So get our car or bike, whichever it may be, of course. It's going to be a bumpy ride on the bike, but that's alright. Let's get ourselves in the right direction here. It's definitely going to be a bumpy ride, but I will show you guys exactly where we're going to be going. So as you see, we're on the other side of the map here, and we're just going to go to this little part here. I'll put my marker there, but it's just past that marker there is where we're actually going to go. Uh, there would be a small little town there, so we're going to go ahead and cut over there right now. You don't need to see me jumping all over the place. But we are making it into the secret town as of now. Um, I believe it's called Yuka or Yusa, or I don't even know how to pronounce it. Y-U-C-C-A. Um, so you guys can uh, yell at me and how I pronounce that wrong, I'm sure. But uh, we're going to go do a little exploring throughout this city. Um, now, at the end of the video, we're going to take you down the road here, which I think it could be a possible expansion area, since uh, and they haven't really finished it yet. So maybe that's something that could be added down the road. We don't really know. Um, I have heard that this area could also be uh, where we started off as a nomad and uh, worked our way into the night city from this location but i wish it wasn't so damn dark uh, i'm gonna explore here just a little bit we'll have to use a scanner that's all right and make sure we loot all the uh all the stuff i haven't really came across anything too special for loot wise um, but it's definitely a cool area to come and check out if you guys do choose to do so let me know if you guys find anything interesting um in this area that i may have missed we're just going to do a quick little peek around here. Let's uh, change the time though so we can actually see what's going on and uh, see what's around us a little bit better. I kind of forgot that I could do that. So here we are now. We can actually see the hidden town a little bit better. There's a little bit of money laying around. We'll grab that for sure. Uh, like I was saying though, the loot isn't too special here. No legendaries or anything like that. Um, but it's definitely cool to come here and just check it out. Now, if you guys do know that if we've been here in the past, or if it is maybe something that's DLC related, uh, that'd be really cool. I personally think it's not necessarily. Now, the end of the video, though, uh, those buildings really are shouting something that um, is going to be added in. Or they just decided not to use them, so they just didn't finish the actual building itself. But we'll go ahead and check that out right now. We're going to scoot down to this area right here. And I'm going to call in my car. I'll take Johnny's ride down for a little spin. Down memory lane in his car here. And we'll just scoot down to the very end of the road. And uh, we're going to check out these buildings down here. I'm uh, kind of curious on why they're not fully finished. And what the case me... Holy shit! Alright, there's a fence there. Uh, how the hell am I going to get down there then? Alright, we're going to work our way around this fence as well. 
That is one thing about this game though, usually if one way is blocked, there's usually an alternate method to get around. I do usually like that though, especially in the missions. I really wish I uh, did the side missions before the actual missions, um, because uh, your abilities definitely make a big difference, your body and your technical. If I uh, knew that, I would have maxed the shit out of those uh, prior to me doing any of the story missions, but uh, I did make it through the story missions, so... I guess I managed, but these are the houses that I'm talking about, and as you see, they're just not finished for some reason. Now, I don't know if they're going to be uh, finishing these up down the road and allowing us to come here, or maybe adding it into the story somewhere down the line, even though I highly doubt that. Um, but it is kind of cool to see that there is some buildings that just not finished quite yet. So they're maybe planning to do something with them, or they just got lazy, uh, which uh, is a good indicator. And they just decided not to finish them since they figured that they won't be in use. So there's no point of actually furnishing them and fixing the insides of the actual house itself. But that is uh, the video today, guys. I uh, pretty much just wanted to showcase this little area and uh, see what you guys think about the area as well. Um, and my friend Julie, she actually pointed me in this direction. So uh, say thank you to her if you ever see her in the comments there. Make sure to give her a bunch of thumbs up as she uh, definitely pointed me out in a really cool direction to check out uh, this hidden town. So thank you very much, Julie. I do appreciate that. I should have said that at the start of the video so more people heard it. I do apologize for that actually. I always seem to forget the things that I have set up to do uh, at the start of the videos. I don't know why, but for some reason I have plans for a video of what to say in it, and then when I actually start making it, I completely forget everything, and it's completely winged and new from what I actually had in thought pattern. Um, but anyways, I do appreciate that very much, Julie. I hope that you hear this, uh, even though it's seven minutes in, and not many people stick around this long. So uh, I'm going to shut the hell up now, because this is way too long of a video for me. I really hope you go, holy shit, that fence again. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it enjoyable or helpful or fun or anything like that or informative. And if you guys did, I would really love if you guys could share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.